All right, I got this recipe off of Pop's Knife Supply. And I'm going to do a couple test pieces, but uh, canola or quench in parts 50, but 15 minutes between 1460 and uh, 1480. I never did any knife that low of a temperature on a heat treat, but we'll see how it works out. Okay, test piece. And Mr. Knife. Ugh. Ooh, that is such a low um, heat treat temperature. I don't know why Pops Knife Supply recommends that low, but he knows more than I do, so I'm going to try it. And this is his steel. Even though the internet, pretty much it's mid-1500s is the way to go, but... All right. Okay. Big surprise. It's hard. <laughs> Not very surprising with ADCRV2. It seems to want to... It seems to harden no matter what you do. <laughs> I mean, what a, you know, I don't know. This one was uh, very low, but it's hard. Okay, Ugh. higher temperature. <sighs> Color looks pretty even up and down the whole blade. It's going in, going in the hole. Keep hitting the tip off the damn thing okay lower uh, lower temperature higher temperature hmm I don't know let's see they sound different Thanks for the advice on this tinfoil thing. God, what a game changer. Hey, guys. Hey. Hank. Hey. Do I got everyone's attention? We're going to test this piece. All right. Just going to skip all the bull crap and go right to big nail chop. No edge damage. Surprise. Okay, let's put it in the vise and break it. See if we get any leverage from this. See it? All right. And it broke already. I think. No, it didn't. It didn't break. Oh. Okay. Well, that's different. Well, it seems to be taking a little bit of a bend. It was taking a bend. It didn't do that before. Let's try, let's try edge up. So we're getting some different results finally. There it went. There it went. It bent pretty far though. So I chopped the nail. Grain structure, which I was very fine. Okay, so I don't know if this is any kind of an edge test, but here's the one that we did that actually had some pretty damn good flex to it. And here's one of the other ones that uh, was heat treated at 1600 degrees, and this one's 1570. Let's see if there's a difference. Edge to edge, baby. Who's going to chop through who? Let's see which one took more damage. Um, 
Same. Same. Tip is still fine. Okay, I got two little test pieces. 80 CRV2. They're both an eighth inch thick. One is a little bit fatter than the other. Um, I'm going to do a differential heat treat on one, and I'm going to do a through hardening on the other. And I'm going to use Parks AAA. See if that helps any. Well... Seems to be holding the knives up pretty good in there. Okay. We're at around 1475 to 1490. Um, I'm going to try to juggle it. And we got the Parks Triple A, just about at 120 degrees. And um, Mr. Knives, are, one of them's right next to the thermal couple. The other one's the same distance away from the uh, thermal couple. So cool. This should be a pretty accurate heat treat. 1480. I'll probably go between 1480 and 1490. You know. Very low oxygen. Everything's the same color in there. And that's always a good sign. I'm going to let these soak for about 10 minutes. So 10 minutes at about 1490 on average. One I differentially heat treated on the top though, it bites. The bottom, it skates. All right. Okay, I'm gonna do a real low temper, about 350 to 360. Um, so it was heat treated at 1500. Um, for 10 minutes, Parks AAA, and we're going to temper it around 350, 360. Okay, the one I differentially heat treated. Grind these things nice and thin. Get a nice thin edge. Okay, I got a full flat grind on both these test knives. Um, and they're really the same thickness, the same type of grind. They're pretty thin. I left them very hard. Um, I did a differential heat treat here, and I did a full quench here. That's the only two differences between these. It was a low temper, about 370, 360 temper, and basically 1,500 degrees for, for 10 minutes. It was like 490, kind of bounced up and down. So what I'm trying to do here is determine... Keep the edge as hard as possible, but see if the differential heat treat helps in toughness so I can get the best of both worlds. So we're going to test it. Differentially heat treated.
No edge damage. Awesome. All right, on to the little one now. Hold the damn thing steady. Blasted right through it. Okay. The one that survived the nail chop, we're gonna do a uh, drop test on the tip on concrete. Okay. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not a dull spot. Not a shiny spot, not a chip. All right, that Parks AAA is looking pretty good. Okay, this is the one that's been differentially heat treated. I'm gonna see if I can just break it by hand because it is only an eighth of an inch without putting a cheater pipe on it. Okay, and we'll check out the grain. Took a bend, straight. I think the edge just cracked, which is fine. Straight. The edge just cracked a little bit right there. Let's see if it'll still pound a nail in half. So even though I just did all that torque to it, chop the nail in half, no edge damage. Let's see if I put it up here on the blade if we can break it. Ugh. So differentially heat treating it, you will get flex, you'll be able to bend it straight, and you still have an edge that works <clears throat> alright there we go we got it broke so it broke at about 90 degrees let's see the grain Grain's good. Very nice grain, as usual. All right, let's break. Uh, let's break the other one. The one that we fully hardened. This is the one that was fully quenched. And let's see if we have a difference here. I don't know how far it went, and grain is good. Good grain again. Very good grain. Um, yeah. So, cool. If you want a knife that'll take a bend, and then bend right back, the edge did crack one time, but it was still good to go for chopping nails, <laughs> but it it was easily bent with that differential heat treating, and uh, that was left at a high hardness. So this knife that chopped nails in half was probably 62 Rockwell, because I only tempered it at 350, 360, and then I differentially heat treated it, so you got some durability and a, you know, edge holding, or you just go with the, uh, it was harder to, the other knife felt tougher, the little one, but, um, and of course it broke right away about 45 degrees, and there it is.